Hello, computer nerds. This is Devin Townsend. Thank you very much for purchasing my new record, Physicist. Or if you would prefer, Fzzzt. Uh, I'm supposed to give you a lyrical rundown, it says here, of each song and tell you what the song is about and give you background on it and the whole works. But uh, I don't want to do that. That bores me horrifyingly. So what I would rather do is I'm going to give you a bit of a history on myself and tell you how the record came around. And uh, that ought to satisfy both your curious minds and my narcissistic impulses. So, what is Physicist? Well, I tried to take the uh, most effective parts of my past records and put them together into one. Why? Because I took a year and a half off after I made Infinity because it made me insane and uh, I was bored and this is the result, right? It's more of a step sideways than a step forward, but it's still rather interesting. I hope you enjoy it thoroughly. I'll say that again. Not that I'm insecure about it, because I'm not, you know. It's like, even if you don't like it, I don't care, man. No worries. Anyway, I'm from Canada. Canada's nice. I'm looking out the window of my basement, and I see the house next to us, and I see a spider web, and my computer, and my little Roland VS 1680, which I did the majority of the recording on the record on. Maybe that'll get me an endorsement. But that will make me a whore, won't it? No, I don't want to be a whore. Only for the right people and the right money. And we'll be whores. We'll talk whore then. Strapping young lad. Whores itself out. Who cares? Who knows? So, what I figure about making music. How's this? I don't think about it at all. I just pick it up and eventually songs form themselves. I'm a very lazy person when it comes to writing. I just, it just evolves. Evolution is sort of the best bet for music as far as I'm concerned because the more you labor something, the more it sounds you labored it. The only problem with letting things evolve is sometimes you get mediocre sounding tracks and there's one or two tracks that I put out before, <laughs> possibly a few more, that I'm not overly thrilled with because of that, but uh, them's the breaks. You gotta be true to what comes out, you know? I figure you work on yourself as a person and the closer you get to your core, the more receptive of a person you are to the energies that are around you that transmit the frequencies that make up. And that's what drives me nuts now. Here's the thing, I'm getting so sick of words. That's what the first song on the record, Namaste, is about. I just stopped the tape and I listened back to what I had said. and I. You just babble. Everything that comes out of people's mouths are either, or either what... It's either they're talking bad about somebody else or they're talking about themselves. and it's Opinions. I mean, everybody's got them. It's just so boring. You know, just let the deeds do the talking. You know, just get the music out and let the music say what you need to say. <coughs> Don't, um... Don't talk about it, just do it, you know? I've spent so long talking, it's disgusting. Here I am talking more. All right, so that's what the first song's about. Namaste, remember namaste. Keep it in your head. Pray, you bastard. Pray to yourself. Pray to anybody. Pray to something. Uh, next song, victim. Yep, well, that's the thing. It's a victim mentality. You know, and it's, it, last year was the first time I experienced it where I was doing a poor me trip. You know, and that's just, it's just gross to be involved with that. But it's so hard to get away from it because society sort of perpetuates it, I think. To a certain extent, everywhere you look is just designed to make you feel shit about yourself. And, uh, you know, but I think there's a bit of comfort that people take in that. I know I did. I felt a great deal of comfort and still do feel a great deal of comfort in going, poor me. And having somebody go, oh, poor Devin, look how sad he is. You know? I don't know. But again, you know, it's just so obvious. It's just, yuck. And that's why the track is in there. And that's why it's, I'm a spaceship superstar. It's just an outlandish Marilyn Manson type of megalomaniac, you know, Christ complex thing that just kicks in only because you just feel so insignificant, I would imagine. Not to say anything about Marilyn Manson. I just used 
the megalomaniac thing as an example. Um, that's victim. Namaste goes into victim because you got the first, you've got the uh, resurgence. It's the uh, end of the end of the previous century. Out with the old, in with the new. Namaste, isn't everything great? Remember, pray, ah, everything's so in your face. Then victim comes in. Uh oh, it's a victim. What do you feel about that? Uh oh, he's pulling down your energy. Bad vibe. No good. Then back up. Whoa, it's material. What do you know? It's a pop song for a couple of centuries from now. See, that's what I'd like to think, except for I'm sure that a couple of centuries from now will just be bips that we won't be able to understand because it'll be appealing to a sense which we haven't yet discovered that we own. And material uh, is just that. You know, just don't worry about it. Nothing is worth you worrying about. You can only do what you can do. You know, and as long as you keep in mind what your objectives are and you work as hard as you can then that's fine you know as far as I'm concerned you're just a bean just a worker ant you're just another one of zillions and that's why you're you and every soul identifies itself as being the I right and so that means that we're all the same thing and there's nobody else there's just me me and that's the same as you and it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? You get high on mushrooms and it's beautiful. Material, that's what we are. We're all just void. We're nothing. Kingdom. There's a kingdom. This is the first love song I ever wrote. And it's not really a love song. It's just like a, it's just like a Jesus Christ, all right. No longer am I, am I an asexual prune. You know, no longer will I deny the fact that I'm a perverted male. It's just, yeah, you know, women, Jesus, it just blow my mind. I can't get behind it. Well, I can get behind it. I got a pretty good grasp on it if I'm honest, but for the most part, I tend to cover up my honesty with a veil of pseudo rock guy bullshit. Uh, but stay with me, play with me, that's a whole idea. And it's not only am I appealing to people that are close to me, I'm appealing to myself, you know? It's like I gotta stay with myself, I've gotta be in love with myself. But hell is here and it has no fury like this woman still, there is no hurry, I'm fine, or something like that. That's how I feel. Then after kingdom it just dissipates, it's like you've all of a sudden, the chrysalis has evolved and you're a, uh, you're a, uh, you're in this wash of emotion, this love, this this overpowering sense of like awe, that that oneness that you want to feel, that I feel will ultimately be there at the uh, moment of death, is present in just love that you can have even between friends and strangers, you know, and uh, that's what you're afloat in at the end of kingdom. All that crazy ambient stuff, which I'm good at, and no one ever gives me credit for, which bums me out a little bit. Don't give me credit for it, go to my head. I'm going to stop reading my reviews too because I get all freaked. And the whole idea with Devoid was my name. Hi, I'm Dev, right? Devoid. I just felt it for a year and a half. This is where the record switches. This is the second half of the record. First half was all very cognizant of what was going on, and then there's the nothingness. And the nothingness came from where you experience sin. And sin is that death, you know? It's all metaphor. This whole record is another metaphor. Every record I do is just another metaphor. Everything's a metaphor, and most people do it as well or better than I. So don't blame me for going off on a tangent on this stupid thing. I was asked to do it. So devoid, that's me, Devin. Devoid, everything is nothing. Nothing is everything. That... The song Death, Gene, came up with the drum pattern for a lot of that blasty stuff, which is great. Gene also came up with uh, the main drum pattern in the complex, which is the next song. The that thing. Did it for a couple seconds too long. I hope it didn't annoy you. My microphone is not wet for those who ask. Reason... Uh, for the complex, Gene and I, it's ironic because we both went, w went through massive Christ complexes. Mine happened right at the turn of the century, which is what infinity was for me. Not that I necessarily believed it, but uh, 
just when all of a sudden you all this information presents itself you have no choice but to refer it back to yourself and then you think god am i charged with special powers am i here to free the free the slaves and be the chosen one but jesus christ you know and ironically enough that's words that come out you know everybody is that and that's just the lesson that I think so many people learned at the turn of the last centuries. It's, you're not the only one. Of course you are Christ. Of course you're you. Of course you are who you are. I mean, and there's no other person in the world other than you. Everybody else other than you is just external. The only internal one is you, you know? There's the complex. You know, you're not the only one. Irish maiden back up, you know, you realize you're not the only one, Irish Maiden, it's this big triumphant Iron Maiden t type sounding, jump up and down, prance around type of thing, you know, the pain is here but still we carry on, isn't that great, how triumphant yet melodramatic. Then into Jupiter, Jupiter is my least favorite track on the song, I kind of threw it together, but every now and then, if I'm in the right mood, I hear it and I go, yeah, actually that rips because it fits perfectly with where it should be on the record, but as a standalone track, don't judge me on it because judging's bad, man. Uh, especially if it's to do with my tunes. Okay, then we go on from there. Big crowd audience at the end. There's the Iron Maiden ending, right? It's a tribute to Iron Maiden. I've done my Judas Priest tri tip o' the hats before, and now it's time for my scaling of the metal ladder, proverbially, proverbially, proverbially speaking, proverbial. <laughs> Planet Rain. Here's my, you know, signature 12 minute epic song that I have on one or two of my records. And I do it just because I can, and no one's stopping me, and it's a very egotistical way of getting it all out. But it works because once it's done, and I, I, I recommend this to any musician, concentrate on keeping it all con concise, but if you ever get the chance to do the uh, 15 minute long song, get it out of your system man because you're able to sit back and listen to it and it's like taking a trip and that's what Planet Rain is about. Planet Rain is just the acceptance of everything. It's a silent acceptance. It's the end of the world. It's quiet. Everything is fine. You know, as hell as everything is, there's just it. <laughs> and that's what you deal with. So, it's fine, you know, you take it as it comes. And that's terrible, you know, because you, you go through all this stuff, you know, you go through death and mourning and your friends and lovers and, and you know, relationships and relatives and all that stuff and all the grief and strife and all that that comes with that. It's just, I guess you need it just to balance off and make you appreciate the rest of it. Bonus track at the end. Uh, is called Forgotten. And it just after the little I'm so in love with you thing that I do at the end of that track, it goes into this pervert song. And I just wanted to end the song, the record off on a pervert note, just because I'm a man, I'm asserting my maleness, I like jacking off to porn, and that's it. Thank you very much for paying attention. My name's Devin. I'll catch you on the next record.